Hey everyone, Kev Modun here. In this video, what I want to do is show you a great WordPress theme from Cyberchimp. It's called Responsive Pro. You might be aware of this theme already because the free version has been downloaded a whopping one and a half million times. So there's a good chance you've seen this theme already, perhaps on a website that you visit or perhaps you've downloaded the theme. What I want to do is show you the design, show you what it can do, and then talk about some of the features. And then I'd like to go and show you the back end of the theme and show you how you can use it to build a WordPress website. So if I jump over to the Cyberchimps demo area, you can see the design here. Now this theme can be used for anything really. You can use it for a corporate website, you can use it for a blog, you can use it for an online shop. You could even use it as, the, as a discussion forum if you use a plugin such as BB Press. Now you can see here on the home page, they've got the, the image at the top promoting the theme. Underneath you have this beautiful slider. This slider is powered using Slide Deck 3. I'll talk about that in a while. And you've got some content boxes at the bottom, some social media icons, and there's a lot of widget areas in the theme, as you can see here. Now, one of the, the, the best features of the theme is the fact that it is responsive. Uh, as the name suggests, and you need, the theme is called Responsive Pro. So what I want to do is jump over, and I'll show you that. You can see here, I've got it here already. This website will show you a design on lots of different resolutions, lots of different browsers. And what I'm using just now is a 27 inch monitor and you can see you know, how this theme will look on that. And when you jump down to smaller devices, smaller laptops, you can see how the theme adjusts. This is how it gets its name responsive. Now I moved on to iPad tablets. Now we're on to an Android tablet, landscape and portrait. And finally, you can see how the, the theme looks on an iPhone. And that is the beauty of this theme. It, it is responsive, so it looks great on any device. And responsiveness is something that's very important nowadays. You know, Google and other search engines, have, they place a high priority on a, a website being responsive. So it can affect just your search engine rankings if your theme isn't responsive. So it's great that Responsive Pro works so well. And you can see how easily the content, you know, the design just changes to fit whatever device is using to, to view the content and it works great. So I briefly mentioned Slide Deck 3 there. And for me, this is one of the best features of Responsive Pro. Responsive Pro retails at only $19.99, so it's quite an affordable theme. But they've thrown in a copy of Slide Deck 3 and it is the personal license can see here it retails at $69 so for a, a theme that costs less than $20 you're getting a plug-in that costs $69 thrown in so it really has great value just show you some of the things that slide deck can do I've reviewed this before in my personal blog and it's a great little theme you, you build slides using images you can add text you can add HTML you can add videos you can also pull content from lots of different social media services such as Twitter and Facebook and then you put it all together and you build this slide. Now, the themes for the slides are called lenses. You can see it here. There's lots of different lenses to choose. Um, this allows you to build lots of different types of slides. So I'll just take you over to the example area to show you what I'm talking about. It's not like you have one fixed lens, one fixed design for your slides. There's lots of different variations that you can use. And here are some examples that you can use to give you an idea of what Slide Deck can do. So if I just click on one of these, you can see here, you know, you've got the navigation area down the bottom. You can go left and right there. You can use your, your um, arrow buttons as well. And you've got sharing buttons at the side. One of the things I like love about the... Um, slide deck is just how easy it is to use you know it's not overly complicated very easy to use and within a few minutes you should be able to build quite complex slides using it so just briefly talk about some of the other features it comes with 12 different color skins it has different sliders 13 social media networks that's what i was talking about before 
Out of the box, it supports BB Press, WooCommerce, Easy Digital Downloads, Jiggle Shop, Slide Deck 3, and the Events Calendar. There are four separate menu locations. It works with Google Fonts. There's lots of customization options. Um, here we go here. Nine page templates, 11 widget areas, six template layouts, threaded comments, and four menu positions. The theme is also multilingual ready and it's currently translated to 40 languages, which is overwhelming really. <laughs> and the theme is retina ready and search engine friendly. So without a doubt, this, you know, it's got a lot of great features, this theme. So what I want to do is jump over to my test website and I've currently got a default WordPress theme there. But what I'm going to do is activate Responsive Pro and you'll see here that there's a message to install some recommended plugins. Let's jump to my main plugin list. So I'll jump back to there. There we go. So it recommends that you install three different plugins, responsive add-ons, slide deck, personal license, and iFeature slider. Now these are installed on my website already, but all I have to do now is simply activate them. So there's two different areas in which you can adjust your website. You've got the theme options area and the theme also works with the WordPress theme customizer. So we'll just quickly take you through the theme options area. You can see here there's how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight different sections. So at the top in the personalized section, you can add a favicon, an Apple Touch icon, and there's some options such as minimizing CSS and disabling your breadcrumb list. You can also change the footer text and disable the WordPress link at the bottom. You can see all the social media services that are supported through the theme. All you have to do is add in your URL and those can be displayed. On the home page, you can customize it and you can add your own content area. You can add a call to action button in text and there's some different layouts you can add as well at the bottom there. And then we have the template section. So a lot of settings here can just be switched on and off. You can see here, you know, like for the blog, you can disable post excerpts. You can change meta information such as comments, such as um, categories, author. And there's lots of options for your single page, your archive page, your 404 page. There's a, a box for adding your own custom styling. That's very useful. So if you want to adjust the styling for anything, you can just add it to that area. And then there is custom code that you can add to the header and to the footer. You know, that's useful if you want to add Google Analytics. The next section, there's some options. Now, the plugin options will only be displayed if you've actually got the plugin installed. So if I had WooCommerce installed, then you would see some options there. And at the bottom, you've got an option that you can verify your website with Webmaster Tools on Google, Bing, and Yahoo. So it's very easy to use. You know, once these things are added, you probably wouldn't have to go back to them too much, but what you would be doing is going to the WordPress theme customizer. And I'm a big I'm a big fan of the WordPress theme customizer because it allows you to see changes in real time and I find that very, very useful. You don't have to keep switching between the front end of the website and the back end of the website. And you can see here all the different options that are available. You know, there's a lot of categories. Now, the test website that I have here, you know, you can look at this menu. It's got about a hundred different items. So to show you how it works, I can jump in and change the menu locations. And for the header menu, I can choose a different menu. Try this one. And you can see that it's changed already. And you, there's a lot of other things you can do. You can you saw there, I'm not sure if you missed it there. Um, there's a lot of different menu locations. There's a menu at the top, so if I select a, a menu there, you should see some links up here at the top. There's a footer menu, and there's one below the header as well. So there's two navigation menus in, in the header area, well, three really. You've got your little sublink area up the top right, and then you've got your main nav, and then your sub nav, and then you have one in the footer as well. And that will add some links to the bottom. You can see here, that's the links there. 
And you can see it here at the bottom, these are in the home page, these are powered by midget, um, by midgets, by widgets. It'd be funny if they were powered by midgets. Um, I'll just quickly show you that. So you can see here, there's a home widget. So I've got about us, but what I can do is just add, for example, um, I'm gonna add a search box. Add a search box. There you go. So if I wanted to, you know, I could change the order of that. I can put the search box at the top. And there's a search box displayed above the, the about area. So WordPress, you know, there's so many plugins available for WordPress that you can use that you can build this homepage as you like. And it's really easy using the widget system. You know, you just drag and drop what you want. There's widgets at the top, the, the footer, not sure where that is. Where's that? All oh, right, okay, it's next to the footer. So there's a lot of areas to choose from. And I'll just quickly go through some other options. Site identity, you've got your logo upload, default layouts. This is whether you display the content, whether you've got a sidebar displayed or whether you've got a full width page. You've got custom CSS box. You've got different skins, so you can change the color scheme easily. Yeah, and that's how that how that is how easy it is to change the color of your theme. You just change it to a different color, and your website color will change. Lots of different footer settings there, and um, the copyright text, and you can change the display powered by WordPress link. Now, some of these settings you will have noticed well are in the, the main theme options area, but personally, I really love the theme customizer. I like seeing changes being made in real time. I don't like to keep switching back and forth. Yeah, that's insane. No one would have that color, but it does illustrate what the theme can do. And you can set a background image and you can change your static front page. Now you can see here, look at this. You can change your home page at a click of a button. Look at that. Different call to action. You could put your newsletter sign up box there. You can do anything you want. You can link to your about page. You can link to your blog. It's very easy to use and then once you're finished all you have to do is click save and publish now clearly I'm I'm just showing you this through a test website but if you had your own website you can see how how quickly it would take you to you know it wouldn't take you long to just build up a unique design and you know fit your content into where you wanted to go whether it be your blog whether it be widget areas it's very easy to use and and the fact that you can you know, you, all the, all of your information, all of your content is responsive. It's all going to look great on smartphones, on tablets. It's, it really is a great selling point for the theme. So I hope you enjoyed this quick look at Responsive Pro. Again, this retails on cyberchimps.com for only $19.99. It's a really cheap theme. And if you really are unsure about it, I do recommend checking out the free version. It's a good theme in its own right. But if you want all the features, if you want to unlock all the features that this theme has, you should really opt for the pro version. You're going to get support. You're going to get Slide Deck 3 thrown into to the package, you know, $69 for that. And you get it included in the, the theme for only $19.99. It's a fantastic theme and I'm sure you'll like it. You know that you do need a different, sometimes you do need a, a different theme for a different project, but this is quite a versatile theme. You can use it for a content website. You can use it for a corporate website perhaps to showcase some galleries, some images using those slides, and you could use it or simply use it for a blog or for an online shop. There's a lot of options you can use, but if you want to know more about this theme, please do drop over to cyberchimps.com and check it out. If you'll see a lot of other themes there as well. They have a theme club that's only $67, and you get about 35, 33 theme, themes, is it, or 34? Um, and you get about five or six plugins as well. So it's, it's great value for money. So if you see a few th themes that you like, you might want to opt to join the, the theme club rather than pay for the theme individually. But Responsive, Throw, um, Responsive Pro is, is such a great little theme and it's only $20, so it, it's not really a big risk. I've been Kevin Muldoon and I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you get any questions about the theme, please do leave a comment below. And if you want to find out more about it, please do go over to cyberchimps.com. 
I'll leave some information about this in the description area below. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.